Hey guys, so going a little further into some of these videos, I'm trying to do medic math uh, and help out, maybe make it click for some people because I know I struggle with it. So I'm gonna do a dopamine drip, sit on your NREMT, so just some steps that I've took to be able to get through it. Uh, so we'll get into it. Dopamine's 400 milligrams and 250 milliliters. Uh, is to be administered IV drip to a patient at eight micrograms per kilogram per minute. The patient weighs 163 pounds. At what rate are you gonna set your pump or your drips? So. The way you want to set this up, you want to cover a few things first, set your problem up for success. So you got to figure out your pounds to kilograms. The way you do that with a calculator or longhand, the 163 for pounds divided by 2.2. That's going to give you your kilograms. We get 74.09. Uh, it works for this problem to have a calculator. If not, you're going to round that down to 74. So what do we do from there? You got your kilograms. We need 8 micrograms per kilogram per minute. So I'm going to do the 74 times 8. It's going to give you 592 micrograms. Uh, so then what we got to do is times that per your minute. So we're going to times that by 60 and give us our grand total of the 35,563. I'm going to write that down so I remember that number. Um, 63, we'll round that up to 64. All right, so we have the total to be infused. So what we gotta do is find the uh, concentration per milliliter. The way you do that uh, is gonna be weight over water, right? So your weight over water is gonna be your 400 milligrams uh, divided by your 250 milliliters. We're gonna convert the micrograms, or uh, milligrams to micrograms. So 400 milligrams is gonna be 400,000 micrograms divided by 250. That's gonna be our weight over water. We're gonna get 1,600, all right? So 1,600 micrograms per cc is what our concentration on hand is gonna be. All right, so once you get this far, you've got all your numbers laid out and how you wanna figure this out is you're gonna take your desired dose and our desired dose that we figured out is gonna be 35,564 and we're gonna divide that by our concentration on hand which is gonna be the 1600 micrograms and that's how we get the 22.2 I didn't put this answer in this is from the institution we're looking for the 22.2 milliliters an hour uh, with a 60 drop set you're gonna look for the 22 drops per minute and that's gonna give you your flow per hour for this patient so hopefully that makes sense um, we can do a few more to explain that later on but that's how you're gonna get that drip rate um, so yeah hopefully that helps and any questions comments concerns let me know